That's a mandel bulb in cycles. Uh, this is the quickest way I found to get it done. Other than putting in the math nodes on your own, which sucks. <laughs> uh, this guy named Bal Balding Wizard on uh, GitHub made an add-on, a dynamic math expression add-on, where instead of having to build the node tree, you just put in the math equation, and then it will auto build the tree for you. But one of, the, one of the other cooler things that it does is it already has Mandelbulb inside of it, so you don't really have to do shit. You install it like any other add-on. You go to, you know, edit preferences, install, select the zip file. It'll show up. You hit the check mark. It enables it. Then you're done. We're going to add a cube, and we're going to switch over to cycles, and then we're going to build the translation from the math to the volume output. When you go to add a node, you'll notice there's a new option called Math Expression. There's some presets. One is called Mandelbulb. You click on it, you click OK, and there you go. That's the Mandelbulb with all the math inside of that rectangle. You'll want to add a texture coordinate and a mapping node, the object out of the texture coordinate into the vector of the mapping node, into the vector input of the dynamic math node, You'll want to then add another math node, which is a uh, switch to multiply the inside of the math node into the, one of the values that the other value really high. This will increase the density. You then want to add two different shaders, a volume absorption and a volume scatter. And you want to take the multiply that you've created, the value out of that to the density of both of those. And unless you're doing something wacky, I suggest just adding one RGB node directly to the color of both of the volume absorption and the volume scatter. You now have two shaders that you need to put into one material output. So you need to add an add shader, which will add those two shaders together into one shader output. You put that into the volume, and the mandelbulb is done. That is the setup. Now, if you're lucky, you have a very fast computer, so you can watch this take shape in a reasonable amount of time. One thing to keep in mind is the volumes, the uh, s step sizes. If it's too high, you won't have any detail. If it's ex really low, like 0 0.01, it'll take forever to render. But you'll have an awesome, really detailed looking mandelbulb. Here's the shader setup again for that. There you go, super painless mandible and cycles.